Of the 48 years I've been around, I've lived 46 of those years in beautiful West Virginia. I talk a lot about our state on our channel, and I want to take this time to feature some of the crown jewels that West Virginia has to offer. So within this short series of videos, you'll see breathtaking views, beautiful West Virginia wildlife, and you'll even see an incredible sunset from the top of the highest peak in West Virginia. Here's just one of those videos we're featuring. All right, so our first stop today is what I've always known as French Creek Game Farm, but it's actually West Virginia Wildlife. What's it called? Wildlife West Virginia Center? State Wildlife Center. <laughs> they changed the name. But anyway, it's it's kind of like an outdoor zoo. I guess most of the zoos are outdoors, aren't they? But uh, it has the animals that you would have or currently have in West Virginia. So it's it's got all those native type species. So it's a really neat place to check out here in the dead center of the state. I think our first stop is the bison or the yes, buffalo. Yes. Where West and Virginia geese. used to have bison. <laughs> what does a bison say? I said bye. <laughs> You don't moo at them like you do cows. You guys are cowards. You don't fight the mice. Yeah, they do. Okay, so that's a copperhead on that lower shelf, yeah. right? Yeah, this is a timber rattler here. What are the... Yeah, the copperhead is the one right? on the bottom but shelf. But what's the... He's, he's of some type of rattler, too. Yeah, is he also a... Yeah, rattlesnakes. And then these are non venomous. They're just yeah. black snakes. Yeah. They're like, get his out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to kill me. Is he? Looks There's another copperhead down there. Copperhead. Yes, that's a copperhead. So if you see those at the house, they're poisonous. See, after they've molted, see this one looks like he's molted recently. They always say their heads look like a shiny new penny. So see how coppery his head is? Hence the name copperhead. But after they've molted, they're really shiny like that. So you remember that they Venomous snakes here if they have yes, cat eyes. Yeah. yeah. And that makes it look like they're standing out of them. Yeah, they're the pits. Here's one too. They got the pits. Little small one. Yeah. Have you ever actually seen a snake spider before that they can look at their flesh? That's what we need over our creek crossing. Yes. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Tiny little bridge like this. <laughs> Twenty tons of steel. Last time he was just yeah, last time he was laying about. <laughs> he's pretty. Oh, he's hungry. Look at this cat. Yeah. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. He looks a little gaunt, doesn't he? So our local DNR have said for decades that we don't have any more pumas or panthers in the wild anymore. And I can remember as a kid, oh, you were gorgeous. I remember as a kid 
coming down this old hollow with my folks in the truck. It was everything we could do to get out of it. And it was dark, and this huge cat jumped down in front of our truck. And we first thought it was a bobcat, but bobcats don't have long tails. And this thing had a long tail. So that was probably 30-some years ago. It scared the crap out of us. Got electric fence too. See that, guys? You see the single strand of electric fence there? She's gorgeous. Actually, I believe it's a she. She's gorgeous. Look at that paw. Oh my gosh. I should look very much paws in there. I think for the man who shot my paw. It's not the paws themselves that hurt you. It's basically like Look how when pretty. they use their back paws. I'd like to clean out that litter box. Why is she? She's pacing. See how they have the plastic around the tree so she can't get up there and jump out. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> like, I'm out of here, fools. Sayonara, suckers. She says, you think that's gonna keep me? But commonly, midsummer. Yeah. Oh, she is full. Hi there. She needs. It. She needs some puppets, Kelly. She needs to give her some puppets. <laughs> I would. Kitty, 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 kitty. I wouldn't last this as you keep her very long. <laughs> <laughs> Any string? I just want to scratch I'm gonna dangle some string in front of her. <laughs> A ball of yarn. Are you hot? Man, that's more of a nervous thing, it looks like. Do not feed. Stay away from pets. Do not feed. What would you feed? Just on our truck yeah. here. <laughs> oh, look. How exciting. White-tailed deer. <laughs> yeah. Punch him in the puss. Exactly. Garden killers. This looks like a regular dog, doesn't it? Tell you laugh. They have a real funny laugh. <laughs> they have acne products hidden everywhere. Say, <laughs> Yes. He's got a bomb. And a roller skate. He's having dog dreams. You know, can you rest right here? Look at him, his paws moving. His eyelash, his eyes are. Such as you. <laughs> Shows you what I know. According to this sign, those are gray wolves, not coyotes. <laughs> this would be very small gray wolf. Kelly has to play her eagle app. She played it last time, so it has an eagle call, and it's funny, they, they'll definitely peek up their eyes. <laughs> You're mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, this is going to jump. He's going to do something. He's picking up, yeah. Cole makes him say, you call my mama a lot. <laughs> The fox way up there. That has a red head to be a great fox. I was mistaken that for a cat if I saw on the road. Mm -hmm. Look at that teeny tiny little feet. Almost raccoon size, aren't they? Yeah. Smaller even. Yeah, we must have cat attraction going on here. What's up, Bob? Kitty, 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 kitty. Aww. See little pointy cuffs on his ears? <laughs> These are so cool. Don't touch the electric. Wait, wait, what? I'm sorry, they just let their cats climb the pine trees? Come on, come on you could jump on your face if you got up in that pine tree. Like, they actually put a sign up that they're aware of that. I think it was maybe they're going to put something
<laughs> what is it? I said, teeny little scratch on the chin, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about the chipmunk? I said, I bet the chipmunks don't come to visit you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. See him everywhere else. He's like, do not go in that cage. You got one. <laughs> All these trees in the forest, and they give you the tiniest oh, little punch. I didn't punch. see him. I was looking at the three in the tree. Yeah. These are all fake. <laughs> They're animatronic owls. They're not real. And the tree. More owls? Oh, yes. These are my favorites. That's what we have a lot of. Oh my gosh, look at Spooky. <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> hey, you. So we have a ton of these barred owls in our valley at Red Tool House. And what's really crazy is, uh, of course, they make their... their audible call that you hear at night all the time but uh, there's times where I'll be in the woods right at dusk doing stuff and you just kind of feel this this foreboding that something's watching you and then you can normally look around and see when I'm eyeballing you it's kind of creepy they're really neat birds Yeah, it's light stuff to see, but there's three black bears laying up against that beech yeah, tree. Maybe from this angle. And there's one down here. Oh, he's looking. Look. He's, he's stirred. He's all stretched out on his belly. <laughs> that bear over there is looking at the pigs. Right? Look, he's looking at these yawning. It's unbearable. Oh. <laughs> it's so cuddling. Did you him that one's looking at the pigs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I love bacon. This one pacing looking at the pigs. Oh, and the pigs are here. Oh, he's pretty. Uh, I think you've been walking around that sewer just a little too long. I'm worn a spot. Hey, bear. He's pretty big. Hey, bear. Bear. Hello, Swine! Yippee! 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 Yep, I know what that's like. What did you say? <laughs> I said, I think we've proven you don't know what a coyote looks like. <laughs> they look like a very small gray wolf. <laughs> they do, apparently. <laughs> We're going to see. A coyote and a juvenile gray wolf, very similar in appearance, hmm. for those of you wondering. No, actually, they don't. <laughs> So this is just one of those many reasons why we love living in West Virginia. There's a variety of wildlife, most of which eats our livestock, right Kill? This is true. Good to protect against these things. Yeah, so it makes things interesting. So what did y'all think of that? I think it's a pretty neat place. We picked the best day of summer to come. Yeah. It's so nice. Yes. You know, we've been here when it's been sweltering. It's been nice. Animals are out because it's not super hot. So I'm going to post a link down in the video description. If you guys ever make it to West Virginia, you got to put this one on your list. It's pretty neat to see. Uh, total admission for the four of us was $14, I think. Yeah, so 14 bucks. So it's not expensive at all. Really neat place to check out. They've got a gift shop and that type of stuff. We may go check out the gift shop. 586 pounds when he was weighed. I believe he could have exceeded 700 pounds. That's a lot of black bear.
He's smiling too. You see? It's because he died a happy death. The claws on that thing. So if you ever have the opportunity to come to West Virginia, I implore you to check out some of the beautiful scenery it has. They don't call it almost heaven for nothing. In the video description of each video, we'll provide links and detail locations of where you can see this incredible scenery. All right, take care everybody.